head into this live All event right. section. What do you see in here? All right, so Retro Stars, it has begun. This is a four week event. So here we are. This is the main chapter, Retro Stars, as you can see here. And here you'll find the daily grind. Uh, you see level one, level two, level three. You can complete all nodes uh, in a single day. And by completing each node, you get some points, you get retro points, and you also get daily target. Um, so what you get, um, let's start with the daily target points. So once you get 12 daily target points every day, you can claim the daily reward in the box to the right. And you can choose either from a player item from 103 to 108 OVR or points. So it's really up to you. You can claim this every day. And just a note, if let's say you got 14 daily target points in a day, the, the two extra will not carry over for tomorrow. So just keep in mind that you have to uh, get 12 every day. And just backtracking a little bit, the nodes, level one, level two, level three, they do increase in difficulty and at the end matches and in PvP and destroying tech, uh, <laughs> mobile, uh, there's ranking star which is a weekend PvP mainly mode for you guys. They will not reward you as much as the other options, which are VSA matches and head-to-head -head matches. It's the top rewards reward section there, and you claim rewards for game or men. Now the reward section, which is worse. Yes. I don't want to give any hints yet, down like this, this vertical reward path. So chat, before I get into this, it would unlock a reward on each. So, um, if you're a little newer though, the way it works is you come and take your retro points into a reward path, use them, and you need to unlock two of these columns to get one 110, and then the next third column which unlocks a week from now, and then 14 days for the fourth, 21 days for the fifth, and as you unlock these you can get more and more rewards, and if you get all the way to that 115. And um, just a quick little thing as well, a little different, is there's these skill games and PvE matches in the catch-up bonus, which unlocks after a week. And you can play these and you get some extra reward points. Here week 3 will get you 500, and then the final week gets you 700. So just a way to catch up if you missed a little bit in this event, or you're just playing everything as you can get. So, um, kind of a little fun section. Really proud of the chat and the cultural community here. And guys, the ones that we see you pay, I forgive you for that. It's awesome. And you can pick and choose there uh, at the right bottom. And you get some extra gems too. So uh, are extra, even more rewards for you. So as you can complete the daily quests, <laughs> the the ones who know will make celebration for you. The community, and as you can yep. see, the rewards are getting better. Round two, hometown home is, is there. No, oh, Mr. Manager, this is a fan for you. Just the Retro Star Z skill games and matches, and then you get to claim a 106 to 117 alongside some possible coins. You do that 20 times, you come in and you get your 114. So here, I think most of these guys will will fit into your team's chat for that. These were all the Retro Stars players, right? With with the actual star um, player item art. Absolutely. Look. And that is just the daily quests and weekly quests. Um, very simple here. The the usuals that you've been seeing. Just your kind of dailies, then you get your weekly quest. Retro Star Pass. Level 30 here.